Let's get to it.
escape this!
This is as far as we can go on foot, it seems. <sighs> we'll have to head back and see about fixing the boat. Hey! Everyone all right?
I've been meaning to ask, but how does one become the adopted child of the Dawn Servant? I was but a ball of fuzz at the time, so I don't remember much. My earliest memories are of life in the palace. All I know is that I was born in Ikbrash, a village in Yaktel, but I've never bothered to return there. As far as I'm concerned, Ulul Jaja is my only parent. I quite understand. For a while, I wanted to learn who they were. But over time, that curiosity waned. Galif was my dear grandfather, and he was all I needed. So our situations were quite similar. Even though Papa already had a true-born son, he raised me and Kona with no less love. One time, <laughs> I'd wandered off alone into the forest and gotten lost. Before I became a meal for some beast, Papa dropped everything and came to my rescue. I was scared and sobbing and ready for a scolding. But the Head of Resolve praised me for surviving the ordeal. I did get my lecture from the Head of Reason, though. He went on and on about the dangers of the jungle and all the horrible ways I could have died. Growing up, Papa was kind and patient, but a tyrant when it came to training. Now, of course, I realize he was preparing me for my duties as a promise. For all the good it did, there's so much I failed to learn about my own country. Whether it's alpacas or ihihana, I hardly know anything. I've lived such a sheltered life, yet convinced myself I understood Tural and its people. I don't have Kona's education or Zoralja's strength. I'm all bluff and bravado, not fit to bear my title. Why? Because my father built a nation where everyone can live in peace. And I want to keep it that way. Hmm. I... I think I see what you're saying. My reasons for joining the contest have nothing to do with my brothers. It's always been about the Turali and what I can do for them. You said it yourself. How important it is to properly know something. To hear the voices of others, empathize with how they feel, and think how best to serve. In so doing, you'll come ever closer to being the person you wish to be. I'm sorry, everyone. I've been a fool. From this moment on, I'll stop trying to be the promise I'm not. I won't faint strength to hide my weaknesses. Step by step, I'll learn all there is to know and love about Tuli Hyolal and my fellow Turali. It might not be the smoothest path, but it'll be a path of my own making. I will find the city of gold for all of us along with the answers you seek about your grandfather, Kryl. I swear. I appreciate it, Wuklamart. But you needn't take on that burden as well. Galuf Baldessian dedicated his life to protecting people from all manner of threats. As his granddaughter, I wouldn't wish to endanger others for the sake of a personal investigation. 
So let's just concentrate on winning the contest. We have a shared goal, and, if at all possible, I'd rather we enjoy the journey. Hear, hear. We are companions on the same road, bound for the same destination. With our combined talents, nothing will stop us from reaching the Golden City. Thank you. Thank you all. I am proud to call you my friends. Thank you. Thank you all. I am proud to call you my friends. They seem to be enjoying themselves. Are you sure you don't want to go and say a word to your sister? Nay, there is no need for that. Uh, but what of you two? Wuklamat's allies are your comrades. It must feel strange to be rivals. Helping you has made us rivals, aye, but we're not about to break into fisticuffs over it. Unless, of course, it is a matter of winning or losing the contest. Then I'll have no qualms about putting Alizé on her rear. Despite our long history, never have I been given the chance to test myself against our companions. The thought stirreth within me a most unexpected sense of competition. <laughs> Lamachi has surrounded herself with distinguished figures indeed. One of the studium's finest graduates, the head of the students of Bardesian. And then there's Eorzea's vaunted champion. If she's half the hero you say, then the odds are stacked against us. Not that I have any intention of bowing out. Our time in Urkel Pacha only served to strengthen my resolve. We saw how a single storm cut off the alpaca roots and threw my people's lives into disarray. Such uncertainties are why I advocate for the adoption of Charlian innovations, that Tuli Yolal might know greater stability and prosperity. Our nation can change for the better. And I will be the man to change it. Well, it's a start. I imagine your experiences on this journey, all the things you'll hear and feel and think, will help you refine that approach. But to return to the subject of the right, I'm a touch concerned by the condition for victory. The claimant who breaks the seal becomes Dawnserdant, not the one who performed the seven feats first. The would-be victor need only possess the seven keystones. That is correct. As the contest wears on, we must brace ourselves for greater conflict. Your rivals still lag behind. The second and third promise may have recruited competent lackeys, but none compared to you. <laughs> How can they hope to compete with the resilient son? The only child ever sired by a two-head. Only the ignorant or foolish could fail to see that you were born to be Dawn's servant. Such titles mean nothing. Ah, I neglected to mention 
When I first heard the rumors that the contest involved the Golden City, I spoke in confidence with Gulul Jaja's inner circle. They all agreed on one thing. Whoever reaches the City of Gold will attain a power so great, it can dictate the course of history. If this power truly exists, then I humbly beg a fair share of it. Time is passing, and I would put my plans in motion without delay. The useless tool is cast aside, after all. And just so there is no misunderstanding, you consent to this course, no matter who is made to suffer. In battle, everyone bleeds. The Dawn's promise is no exception. What better lesson to teach our people the folly of war? I was hoping for a good scrap, but this bloated sack of bile was no challenge at all. Hmm. I wonder if the house cat is dead yet. Be a shame to lose a plaything, but we'd still have two more. <laughs> if I may ask, Chosen One, what are your plans for Tuliolal after you take the throne? Plans? What makes you think we care about all that? We care only about the contest, improving our superiority. That would surely please mother and father. Yes, and when we become Dawn's servant, we'll drive out the weakling masses and invite our kin to live in the city. <laughs> Fine idea! Our family deserves better than that rotten jungle. But do it then. We must catch up to that one-headed pretender and remind him of the natural order. <sighs> <sighs> I made it. <sighs> I thought we were missing someone. Where have you been? Oh, I feared I was done for when I fell from the boat. <laughs> Yet somehow I made it. <laughs> oh, my arms. I can barely lift them. If, if I could just rest a moment? You expect us to wait for you? Those who can't keep up will be left behind. My brother has spoken. March, or be father for the beasts. But I followed the teachings! Everything I've done, everything I've sacrificed, all has been for the blessed siblings. Wait. Don't leave me behind! I'm begging you! 